had over 850,000 troops trained through Middle Tennessee uh, because of the terrain and the weather conditions. Uh, we're, we're very much like uh, Germany and the European theater. So all those troops trained through here, I think we had 25 divisions trained through the Middle Tennessee area. 23 of those divisions actually went over to the European theater. Uh, so I wanted to show you an area that we found. Uh, one of my friends uh, probably we're gonna head into those woods over there and uh, we're gonna check out where the soldiers stayed uh, as they practice their red and blue maneuvers. Uh, during those maneuvers they'd have all kinds of bombers and planes and tanks. They'd use uh, flower grenades and flower bombs. Uh, they had umpires to say when people were out, basically like a big war game, right? That's, that's what it was, it was a big war game. So I just dug it out of the hole. See what it is. Looks like a button. Coming in pretty high. I'm gonna check it out here a little closer. Yep, looks like it has the stars on it. You can see that there. So that would be one of the World War II soldiers' buttons. I've got a few jars of these, but they are still awesome. Got a decent signal. Uh, I always find these kind of neat. So I just dug this. This is uh, something, uh, a tube the soldier would have uh, buried uh, after he was done using. So I was gonna unroll it and see what, uh, see what it says. I'll clean it up better when I get home, but it looks like shaving cream. Luxury shaving cream. Ooh. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got another signal here. And uh, this is something else I find a lot of out here. So they're all cleaning their guns. So there's a uh, gun cleaning tool, right? Still got the bristles. Still got the threads on it. So kind of neat. And uh, this is something that the soldiers did, so over 70 years ago, right, for World War II. Soldiers were in the area, and they actually built this uh, bench. And it's still sitting out here. I always find it neat that this is just sitting out here on this 100 plus acres. And uh, I've ate my lunch here a few times, as I've been out metal detecting. But, uh, they did a pretty good job, huh? But just sitting out here in the middle of the woods, this is one of the things that kind of gave them an uh, idea that there was something happening out here, along with uh, campfire rings and then the bunch of foxholes dug, which look like, you know, just holes in the ground. But I'll show you some of those here in a little bit so you know what those look like. In case you're walking around somewhere and you see them, you'll know what they are. I imagine them coming up here and bringing their plans for the maneuvers and laying them out on this table. They build on these rocks. And uh, 
checking them out, talking about what they were going to do with all their troops. So I just got a pretty good signal. I thought it was probably uh, shells from the range, so I didn't tape it. <laughs> but looks like it's a coin. You can see it right there. Popped out of the hole, wasn't too deep. Sitting here in this glade, right at the edge of the property. Uh, we found a lot of Jeeps drove up through some of these of the old roads and whatnot. The glades, because I've got Jeep parts and whatnot. But that's definitely a coin. On the back of it, I think it's a weedy. So that would definitely be from the soldiers. So they were up in here. We found a ring down in there at one point. Yep, it's a weedy. So it looks like uh, I always check my hole again. Uh, also always cover my hole. But anyways, looks, looks like I have another signal in there, probably a penny. You can see I got high 70s to 81 so must have been a pocket spill so let's see what we can uh, find here see if we can do this one-handed okay so it's right in there the other one was a 1935 by the way let's see what we find here another coin hopefully it sounds like it okay it's out of the hole yep another coin Let's see what we got here another coin Let's see what we got it looks like another weedy. Again, I'll have to get the date off it. It's like maybe a 1931. Chip when we get home. <laughs> 